all, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and well today I want to take you behind the scenes a little bit on one of the coolest things that can happen to you as an automotive YouTuber. And no, it's not the fact that I finally got my flight simulator set up at home. It's because today I'm awaiting a very special, very special delivery. This is an Audi R8 rear-wheel drive performance edition, obviously a coupe as well. About 570 PS, 8,500 RPM redline and a top speed of over 200 miles an hour, which will become important for reasons you'll find out in the next videos on this channel. It's in this gorgeous Tango Red metallic paintwork, the same actually as the RS6 that I had on test earlier on this year. If you want to check out that video, click in the top right hand side of the screen now and see the ridiculous 0-60 time I got in that mental family wagon. Inside then we've got this gorgeous pastel grey interior, carbon fibre inlays and this beautiful quilted roof. Actually, I'm going to jump straight in because I want to take this baby for a drive. <laughs> so, let me be very clear, this is not my car, this is a press car and you've probably heard that term thrown around a fair amount but it is literally what it sounds like it is a car that usually belongs to the manufacturer that is there for the purpose of media creation that could be in the form of an article written by a proper motoring journalist and some photos or it could be a youtube video which is the category i fall into or it could even be on mainstream tv top gear for example if they wanted an audi r8 rear wheel drive performance edition most likely it'd probably be this exact car that they would be given. Press fleets generally consist of one of each model and will be available and stick around for the sort of duration of that model's lifespan. Obviously this is a press car from Audi, no awards for getting that one right, but more specifically, this is from Audi UK who are based in Milton Keynes. And I'm in the super fortunate position where Audi are kindly able to facilitate me having a few of these press cars each year. Actually, so far, I was thinking about it, I've had five, because last year I had an Audi S8 and an Audi SQ8, which I raced my fiance to Paris in. Then this year I've had an RS6, that R8 Spider that uh, you saw back on the channel a few months ago, and now this. But you might be wondering how this works. How do I even get insured on this car? Do I have to pay for fuel? Is there a mileage limit? What do Audi actually expect me to do whilst I have the car? I'll let you know all about that in a minute, but first I'm just gonna pull over and grab a quick coffee. So, how does this work then? Do I have to pay to be in this car? Do I have to pay for the use of it? Do I have to pay for the insurance, et cetera, et cetera? Let's get into it. First, I just wanna point one thing out that's a little bit like, come on. I don't know if Audi are just being super tight or trying to keep things lightweight, but I went to adjust the seat and there's electric controls to go up and down, but it's a flipping manual lever for back and forwards. Now, I haven't mentioned, but this car, this car specifically, brand new, is £150,000. There's about 12 grand or so of options on this, 9,000 of them being the carbon fibre exterior and interior inlays. But a manual forward and back adjustment, maybe it's just the lightweight seats. I mean, they are lightweight bucket seats, but still, I'm a little bit like, come on. So amazingly, no, I don't have to pay for the use of this car or for the insurance. All of that 
is covered by Audi themselves and they even deliver it straight to your doorstep as you saw just a minute ago in the video. Now, although I am getting free reigns with this six figure supercar for the next 10 days or so, I am actually providing Audi great value. For example, if one person was to buy any sort of Audi off the back of seeing my videos, it would obviously be way more than worthwhile for Audi lending me this car. But it's not just that, it's all about brand awareness. The best thing they can do is get their cars onto your screens as much as possible. And of course, I have the insane opportunity to drive this supercar, something which I'm terribly excited by and pinching myself every day. And obviously, therefore, I'm shouting about it all over YouTube and Audi aren't paying me for that. They just supply the car and they get all of that promotion. It's also fantastic that I'm not being paid because therefore there's not any sort of scripts or bullet points I have to follow or things that I have to stay clear of. Audi are totally happy for people to review their cars and say exactly what they think. Things like that silly forwards and backwards lever that I had a little bit of a problem with. I'm not too worried at all about saying what I really think about this car and I think that's really, really valuable. Having said that, everything else does come straight out of my pocket. So imagine the amount of tanks of fuel we're gonna go through. I'm paying for those, although to be honest, Audi do bring the car over with a full tank, which is very, very kind. And in fact, with this car in particular, we are taking it in a couple of days onto the continent. So make sure you subscribe to the channel actually, because the next videos you see, we will not be in the UK. And I promise you, you do not wanna miss what we're getting up to with this very R8. But as a result of that, of course, we have things like Euro tunnel, toll costs, accommodation costs, food, all of that sort of stuff that is needed to facilitate the videos that I'm making with this car is coming out of my pocket. started with packing my bags because as I mentioned we are taking this onto the continent which is something I am very excited about because I've always wanted to do what I'm going to be doing with this car. If you think you have any idea what it is that we're going to be doing with this car do comment below I'd love to see if you know and do also take the chance to let me know what you'd like to see me film with this car over the next few days that I have it. I hope you found this video an interesting little insight into the sort of behind the scenes of that whole press car thing that you see YouTubers doing quite a lot. It's something that I certainly didn't understand. One, what sort of happened, and two, how on earth I could get the chance to do that before I was in this really, really fortunate position. As with everything else, if you have any more questions on this topic, comment below I'll be there to answer for you thank you all so much for watching make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so that you don't miss the videos upcoming with this Audi R8 we're all drive performance edition I want to watch the videos except I'm the one that gets to make them which is very very amazing and thank you all for the support I have to pinch myself when I get these incredible opportunities thank you all once more and I'll see you very, very soon.